Hey everybody, there's the Yeti work van. Um, here's the, the new structure for the new business. Um, I am in Oklahoma everybody and today we are going to go hunting for something. Now in Oklahoma where I'm at they have a bad problem with scorpions. And Yeti hates or very dislikes scorpions everybody so we're gonna we're gonna see if we can't uh, round us up one here I got all this lumber pile I found a four or five in here yesterday I don't like them. Oh, here we go. There's one. Oh, I don't like them. I, I got this one yesterday. Killed him. But everywhere we go out here, it's got scorpions in it. Even in the facility, we got them. I don't like them everybody but you can't go out in the woods here it's not like back home you can't go out in the woods here without seeing them it is freaking crazy I have never seen anything like it underneath the new house brand new house everybody brand new see and underneath that house, it's been treated three times with poison. And underneath that house, let me tell you what, the ground. The ground comes alive. We don't let those guys live. Everyone Yeti sees gets stomped. Alright, if we have any more multi multitudes of scorpions, we'll show everybody. Have a good day. Hello everybody, it's Yeti Man here. Um, I thought I'd take a break from the scorpions. I got all my inside work caught up. And now I'm starting on Yeti's cabin. Um, everything that you see here, as far as lumber is concerned, it's been completely recycled off of job site. And we're going to build this entire 10x10 10 10 cabin out of scrap, everybody. Even the nails are scrap. Um, I did get the privilege today to have a uh, nail gun and a saw. But everything you see built that I built yesterday was all done with hand drive nails and sawzall. So today we ought to have the uh, walls all built, the roof on, decked, and hopefully the outside wall skinned as well. And we'll start on the next deal tomorrow. We'll do steps and a porch and uh, maybe cut in the door and the windows and there you go every day on job sites throughout America lumber is thrown away look at this all of this see I cut all these pieces triangles all these pieces to fit I pull, pull all the nails out of the lumber 2x6's 2x4's plywood whole stack of plywood trimmers short stuff four by or two by twelves two by eights two by tens um, so there you go I mean you can't get downsized no more than that folks everybody knows I love to recycle um, especially if it just costs me 40 or 50 bucks in gas so there you go Project number two is underway. And we'll shoot some more video. Here's my view. Here's my work truck. I've already started putting stickers on the work truck. Um, there's the big pad down there for the commercial building that we're going to put in next. Um, that'll be project four or five, I believe. So yeah, on Yeti's farm. 
pretty cool, y'all. All right, there you go, everybody. Got right, one side done here, and the roof's all done. I'm completely exhausted. I am going home for the day. Here you go, how to build a house out of scrap, everybody. All out of junk off the job site. Looks like a bomb went off here. Can be done. Walls are good and straight. All right, on to the next. Good morning, everybody. It's day four of the cabin. I got my little harem tent where I eat lunch so that the hickory nuts don't bounce off my head. Um, I had one hit me in the head two days ago and it gave me uh, a big old knot. Anyways, I was coming back here and finishing up the back of the house, cabin, excuse me, and I just turned this corner. I'm almost done here. And then I looked down and I seen this. So I'm in Oklahoma, not in Arkansas. I'm pretty accustomed to the fungus and mushrooms and that type of stuff that grow in Arkansas. So I'm kind of new to the funguses that grow here in Oklahoma. And this guy caught my attention just for the simple fact that it looked like a morel, but it's not. It's definitely not a morel in any way, shape, or form. But it just, it caught my eye, you know, like when you're morel hunting. So I, I kind of, I mean, it's a mushroom. It's spongy. It smells just like a morel. Um, I'm not sure what it is. I'm going to have to do some research. If anybody knows what this is, please leave a comment in the description. All right, weird mushroom. Bye, everybody. All right, everybody. Got her dried in. Got all the uh, windbreaker on there. Mushroom. The mushroom already died. Everything's tied in. And we got a brand new roof. Just got her done. There's the pad for the new building. All right. Nice. Kicking ass and taking names. Hope everybody's having a good day.